My name is Griffin Lover. I'm the director of bands here at South Elgin High School, and I am pumped for everybody to be here for our end of band camp parent preview show. So we've got two mini performances for you all. Our first performance uh, is our pregame uh, show, which happens before any football game starts. For our pregame show, we will be playing Eye of the Tiger. Then we will be playing the national anthem. So feel free to stand up for that one uh, if you're able. And then we will finish with the fight song. Band, we've got some parents over here. Please don't march into the parents. Go around them. Thank you. I'm very, very excited for our performance today. Band camp has been five and a third-ish grueling days. We've had some serious heat this year. Uh, we've successfully avoided all but about five minutes of the rain. Uh, we had eight hours of rehearsal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then five hours of rehearsal Thursday, Friday, and then two hours of rehearsal this morning. We have learned all of the moving for pregame, as well as movements one, two, and three of our halftime show. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about our halftime show in a little bit after we do our pregame show, but I want to get us underway. So, without further ado, please give it up for the South Elgin High School Marching Storm.
All right, band, you're welcome to get in position for the top of the halftime show. All right, so as they're getting into their opening set, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the concept of our show this year, and then I'm going to pass the microphone off to our band parent organization president. Uh, so our halftime show this year is called Backstage Pass. And it is based off of a piece of concert music that we actually did last year called Backstage Pass, uh, where it's essentially supposed to take you through um, having a backstage pass, being at a rock concert, and, and having that VIP access, getting to see uh, what it's like to be backstage with the band. Uh, so we're changing up a little bit of our look this year. Uh, you will not see the band this year wearing the marching hats. We are not going to be wearing any Shakos this year. Uh, it's a little bit different, uh, but there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, on top of that, we are also going to have the band wearing sunglasses for every single halftime performance that we do. Uh, and actually, if you'll look over here in the, the corner of the field, we've got a tent set up. Uh, by our band parent organization, and they're actually selling some South Elgin High School sunglasses. So I will pass the microphone off to Miss Lisa Greenberg, uh, and she's going to talk to you guys a little bit about that. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Greenberg, uh, president of your band parent organization. Um, we work together to support the band, Mr. Lober, the guard, everybody. Um, we meet once a month, so come out this coming Wednesday. Uh, we talk about how we can support the band, uh, volunteering, serving food at games, uh, working concessions to earn money for the band, uh, future fundraisers, anything throughout the year, and we need your help. We can't do it without you. Uh, so please, everyone's welcome. Freshman parents, we need you. Come, come, come. Um, the meetings will be on the website calendar, eventually. Uh, <laughs> um, if you have any questions, please see one of us. Uh, anything else, April? I think we're good. Come shop, and yeah, let's go. Rock on. <laughs> Woo! All right. Sorry. So, a little bit about our show. I'm going to tell you guys what each movement of the music is uh, and kind of what's supposed to be happening in the show. Obviously, yes, we had, let's see, 24, we had 36 hours of rehearsal this week. Uh, we were able to put all of the music and all of the drill that was written together. Uh, we still have work to do on this. Uh, there's much more moving around to learn. There's more body work that's going to be learned, uh, as well as there might be some changes in the music here and there. But for right now, we have our uh, rough draft of our halftime show, and these kids have been doing an absolutely incredible job this week. I'm super impressed by them. Can we give it up for the band really quickly? Oh. Absolutely phenomenal job. So. We are not starting in a very traditional way. Everybody's kind of scattered around the field, and we actually have our top band of musicians in the back. Wind Ensemble, can you raise your hands? So Wind Ensemble is going to be starting us off, and they're, oh yeah, give it up for Wind Ensemble. This first, we'll call it quote unquote movement of the show, we're, we're calling it movement zero, because not a whole lot happens. It is supposed to sound like you are backstage at a concert, and you're hearing the musicians warming up. They're not in performance mode yet, but they will get there. Um, Wind Ensemble is actually doing uh, an Eagles tune, so we have a lot of classic rock in the show. We're doing a tune by the Eagles called Seven Bridges Road, and it's actually what they would use to warm up backstage, because the Eagles had all these beautiful harmonies. Uh, we're doing what they did backstage as our warm-up, and in between each little phrase, you'll hear a different section of the band do their own warm-up. After that, uh, we're actually playing the piece of concert music from last year, Backstage Pass, which is where uh, the title of the show originates from. 
that is sort of the, okay, everybody's getting to their places, and we're about to pull the curtain. So if you guys see the flags that are sitting on the ground right behind our drum majors, those in a couple weeks will be actual props. We're going to have red curtains out there. And at the beginning of Movement 1, we'll pull the curtains, and the uh, you will see the band performing. Movement 2 is what I think is one of the best rock concert openers of all time. We're going to be playing Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, uh, and they're doing an incredible job with that. Following that up, you can't have a concert without a slow tune or a ballad, and we're doing one of the best rock ballads, I think, of all time, which is Simon and Garfunkel Bridge Over Troubled Water. Uh, we've got a soloist performing that. Juliana, can you raise your hand? Juliana's going to be our soloist. We're moving through. <laughs> After that, we're going to kick the tempo way back up with an Emerson, Lake, and Palmer really, really heavy, like, in-your-face prog rock tune called Carn Evil 9. Uh, that one's going to be super fun, and that will tr transition directly back into the final movement of our show, which is now Seven Bridges Road by the Eagles, performed by the whole band, not just wind ensemble. So, that's kind of a little snapshot of our marching band show. I will let these kids get started, and they are going to give you a show that you are going to really, really enjoy. Here we go. Give it up for the South Belgian Marching Storm. Before we get started, I would like to uh, give one more hand for our drum majors this year. In the center, we've got Amy Scrabach. <laughs> on the right, we've got Maria Servan. <laughs> and on your left, we've got Hannah Greenberg. <laughs> Here is backstage pass.
that is our snapshot of pregame and the halftime show for this year. Our first football game, I believe, is August 30th. Uh, Taste Under the Lights is going to be August 23rd. Uh, and then later on down the road, we are actually going to a competition at Downers Grove South on October 5th. And we hope to see you all there. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, and we actually, if you feel like waiting around, uh, we've got like 500 water balloons left over from yesterday. You're welcome to throw water balloons at your kids. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your weekend. Band, yeah. put your instruments away before we hear the water balloons.